Hey everybody, it's Mr. Brzat. This screencast is going to show you guys how to record from multiple angles. It's a very good idea to use multiple cameras, mainly two static ones or even one that you hold by hand. And then you can jump back and forth between those angles in order to create a more dynamic composition on film. So let's get right to it. So what I've done is I set up two cameras and I had them both on record showing me doing something. First thing you want to do anytime you're going to edit a whole bunch of video clips together into one is check the sound. You need to find an anchor point or a foundation on which all of your work lies so that the sound isn't out of sync with the video. So let's check the audio on camera number one. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to clean out your garbage disposal. Right. And let's check camera two. Well, hi there, everybody. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to clean out your garbage disposal. Okay, the audio on camera number two sounds better than number one, so we're going to use that. So I'm going to grab all the camera footage from camera number two and just pull that right down. Step number one is to detach your audio. That gives us more freedom. We can now move the audio around and insert clips and treat the audio as a separate asset in your video production. So it's really simple. It's just a process of watching the video. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to clean out your garbage disposal. And then trying to find a nice healthy spot to insert other video footage. I like to throw a new angle in when there's kind of a rhythm or a cadence to what you're watching. Which would be after say my first sentence. Cut to the next angle. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to clean out your garbage disposal. Bam! Right there would be a great part to cut to another angle. Hey everybody, today I'm going to teach you guys how to clean out your garbage disposal. Now when you clean your garbage disposal, it's important that you insert your hand as far as you can. So when you go to look for a clip, you know, find a reference in your new camera angle that you can line up with the audio down here. I'm going to choose the word now when I start to talk. And you can tell by the uh, audio waveform peaking slightly here after this valley. Now when you clean your garbage, when you clean your garbage. Okay, all right. I'm going to go right about to there, where my hand starts to go in. I'm going to quit at the word far. Far as you can. And that, I just drag down. So where do you drag this clip to? Well, once again, my word reference that I used was the word now. So I will find the word now on my project, which is right after this little valley. Now, when you clean your garbage disposal. And there we go. Click, drag, line it up, drop it. Go to insert. Now we're going to have more video than we do audio. Don't worry, we just trim any of the excess video that we don't need. I'm going to turn off the sound on my new clip. I simply go on and trim 3.9 seconds of extra footage. And if things jumble around a little bit, just drag your audio and pull it over so that it lines up. And let's see if it's in sync. Disposal. Now when you clean your garbage disposal, it's important that you insert your hand as far as you can into the drain. And see that flows together pretty well. So when you choose to insert a new camera angle should fit some form of a cadence or rhythm with what is going on in the video. Now it can get a little bit tricky trimming the video when the audio is a separate thing. If you ever have to trim any footage <laughs> from your video and you end up with more audio than you need, that's easy to fix. Just select your audio, <laughs> grab the outside of it, shrink the box down until it lines up with your video. All right, so we fast forward a couple minutes here. Let's see what we got. Well, hi there, everybody. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to clean out your garbage disposal. Now, when you clean your garbage disposal, it's important that you insert your hand as far as you can into the drain. And when you do, it's important that you leave the water running so that any fleshy bits get flushed down the sink in case there's an accident. And then what you do... <laughs> And there you have it. Simple as that. This is great for recording live events, instructional content. With multiple camera angles, it keeps the video fresh. People don't space out and engages the viewer a lot better. So look forward to seeing you guys in class. Take care.